Your bounce rate is high, how can you bring it down? Okay, so uh, comment below, let me know what specific uh, challenges do you guys have with bounce rates? Why do you guys think your bounce rates are extremely low? And for those of you that don't know what bounce rates are, I'll walk you through in a bit. But I want you to comment below first and let me know what bounce rates you guys are getting, how you're dealing with it, what are the challenges associated with it, what are your measures you're putting in place? So let's get into it. My bounce rate is high, how can I bring it down? Now bounce rate, for those of you that don't know, it's essentially when someone lands on a specific page on your website, one page, how many other pages do they visit before they bounce off? So let's say there's 100 people that go on your homepage. If 100 people go on your homepage and then 50 people decide to go on your about page or your contact page or any other page on your website and the other 50 don't and they go on the homepage and they leave immediately, that's your bounce rate. You have 50% bounce rate at that point. 150 people decided to visit your homepage and they decided to go to other pages. The other 50 people decided they go on your homepage, they're not interested and then they bounce off. Now the way to be able to decrease your bounce rate is a few factors. The first thing is you wanna make sure that whatever page that you're on, there's three core dials that you have. You have that page specifically, the copy, the design, how does that resonate with the audience that you're going for, which goes in the second one, the audience. You wanna make sure that the audience that you're driving to your specific type of content, your website, matches with what you have on there. You wanna have a lot of values that you set up on the homepage, you wanna share what audience you're going for, you wanna have copy that communicates with the problems that your target audience is experiencing. The third one that's important is you wanna make sure that all the content you create, it doesn't sound like everybody else. So you wanna sound different, you wanna be unique in a specific way, because if you're not unique or you don't have polarity and you sound like everybody else, no one's gonna pay attention to whatever it is that you have on your website. So you wanna have a specific type of, different types of polar polarity on there, those are the three factors there. It doesn't matter what page you have on your website, whatever bounce rate it is, Two universal principles that you should keep in mind, organic traffic, things that people continuously visit, either your email list that you collect, your messenger list, your texting list, Google organic search on Google or Bing. Those specific ones are always gonna have a less bounce rate because they usually found you based on intent or they've been on your list. So they're more likely to engage with your content and consume you because they basically raised their hand and said, hey, I like your content, I'm searching for you, or I've already started the communication process with you. The second thing is paid traffic, social advertising, uh, native advertising, any advertising type of traffic will always have a significantly higher bounce rate because they're people that are cold, right? Cold audience. Cold audience basically means that they have absolutely no knowledge about who you are, they don't care about you, they don't know who you, what you represent, why they should even pay attention to you. So when they go on their website, naturally they're not gonna care. And so that's why your bounce rate will be significantly higher. And that makes the reason why your content needs to be even more compelling for them to engage. So for example, internally what we're doing here is I've got three videos here on YouTube. The one with the eight figure webinar where I'm sharing with you the process that we use to generate eight figures for clients. The second video is how to generate your next 100,000 visitors. And the third video is related to how to generate thousands of leads or at least start the conversation with your specific target audience. Those three videos are the most popular on YouTube. There's a long form post on my website and with the videos on there. And we're using the traffic accelerator process, which is in another video that I'll share with you to basically generate hundreds of thousands of traffic without waiting on Google SEO that takes months to years. And even if you just started your business yesterday. So you're able to actually go on there, you can put the traffic there. We're using basically social advertising to amplify content. We put those people onto that specific pages and we're noticing that the bounce rate is between 30 to 40%. And we get about four to, four to 500 visitors every single week on that specific type of content when we amplify it. And we're not paying a lot of money on it too. So that's one of the things but, that we can focus on. Now organically, the bounce rate is like 10, 15, 20%. So it's even lower. Now you might not think like, hey, you know, it's just five, 10%. What makes a difference, right? But when you add it up, when you're getting like hundreds of thousands of visitors, that 5% represents like 5,000 people. So that's a ton of people within your target audience. So again, those are the things that I'm just sharing with you the, from our experience like what we deal, what, how we do it to be able to measure bounce rate, how to be able to increase your average time on site, which is important, your average time on site and also the amount of pages that people visit and decrease your bounce rate. You wanna look at those three specific numbers. Your average time on site, how long does the average person when they visit your business online stay there and engage with you. How many other pages do they visit when they visit that one page? If they're only visiting one page, that means it's bad. You want them to visit multiple different pages. You want to have their average session time very long. And then the bounce rate, as you pointed out, you want something very, very low. You want to decrease that over time because as you scale, the more traffic that you have, 
it makes a big difference when you have 5% of 10,000, 5% of 100,000, it's just even more people that are bouncing off. So you always wanna focus on decreasing it by building the resonance to your content. So thanks for watching that. I want you to comment below, let me know what's one insight you got from this. Like this video, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so you get future videos just like this to help you grow your business online or entrepreneurial advice. Thanks.